What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, we're gonna go thrifting. I'm very excited. I know that usually when I go thrifting, I start off in my car, but today I have an exciting sponsor to share with you guys and that is Lily Silk. I've heard of Lily Silk from so many other people here on YouTube and I've always been really curious to try out their things. You guys know I love silk. Every time I find a silk piece in this thrift store you guys know I'm so excited because I know that it's high quality luxury and it's usually really beautiful and very comfortable to wear I wear silk all year round and I love pairing it with different outfits so I was so excited when Lily Silk reached out to me to collaborate on this video and I wanted to share some of the amazing things that they sent over to me first off Lily Silk is amazing because they have so many things on their website they not only have beautiful clothing items they also have a lot of bedding and undergarments and they even sell cashmere as I was browsing through the website, it was so hard to pick through blouses, pajama sets, pillowcases, bedding, but I did end up picking up a few of my very, very favorite things. The mulberry silk has amazing benefits as far as skin and hair. When you're using a silk pillowcase, it does help you wrinkle less and it's also very gentle on your hair. Today, I'm not wearing my hair extensions and I was noticing how much hair in the back I have lost. I do wear my hair up in a bun when I go to sleep and the whole backside on my neck is completely broken off just because I have damaged hair and at night it just really rubs right there on my pillow. So one of the amazing things that I ended up getting from Lily Silk is this beautiful beige silk pillowcase. How beautiful is this? And what I also really loved about this one is it does have a little zipper to keep it closed. It drives me crazy when pillows are open and then your pillow falls out all the time. And I just think that the way that it catches the light is just such a beautiful and elegant and just like, luxury looking way to display your bedding. I've been trying to update my bedding and super, super excited about this. And then for sleeping, I also did end up getting one of their really cute little sleeping masks. Again, they have a bunch of these that like match their pajama sets. And I love these because I am one of the sleepers that as soon as the sun comes up, it just wakes me up naturally. Or if there's any sort of like little light in the room, it wakes me up. So using these little silk face masks, are such a game changer for sleeping in. And then as far as the two clothing items I wanted to pick up, I did wanna get one of these little bralettes. They had a bunch of different bras on there, but I thought that this one was so beautiful that not only could I wear it as a bra, but I could also use it as like a corset top or bralette top underneath like a blazer or different outfits or even like a little cardigan. So beautiful with this little scrunching material at the top. And then the back is a really pretty lace. So it just kind of gives off a very cute, sexy kind of vibe and it just feels like butter on my skin. So pretty. I'm pretty sure they had this in black too so I might have to make another order and get the black one as well. I don't know if you guys can hear in the background but it is raining hard today. Like everything is getting knocked down but I really wanted to wear this dress for you guys to show you guys what it looked like so I'm gonna try to make it warm enough to be out in the rain. So this is definitely a piece that you could wear all year round. I am making it work for winter. Kind of like a taupey gray long midi dress. It has a higher neckline, which I absolutely love. I just ended up pairing it with a black pair of tights and my chunky boots. And then this long, beautiful cardigan, but I'll probably end up throwing a big trench coat on when we go out to go thrifting later today. So you guys, if you need an excuse to treat yourself or if you wanted to shop for someone in your life for the upcoming holidays, I feel like it'd be great to give someone like some silk pajamas, like what a bougie gift. I feel like that would be so nice for maybe like your mother, your mother-in-law, your sister, just someone in your life that you really love and you want to treat. So definitely go check out Lily Silk for yourself or maybe someone's gift this holiday season. My code is SPEAR12. I'll put it right here and also in the description box down below for you guys to shop. And thank you so much Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Now let's stop talking and go shopping. Stop talking, go shopping, stop talking, go shopping. All right guys, just got here. I'm headed into Goodwill. I'm hoping it's quiet since it's rainy. Sometimes rainy days, I feel like there's not that many people in here, so wish me luck. Let's do this. And I think I'm gonna go straight to the shoes and purse section, cause that's my favorite. In the shoes section, I'm looking for good sneakers, chunky boots, or slide-on clogs. There's some little Supergas. I have a pair, but I never wear them. 
Pretty cute though. Some little vans. Kind of like these for the slide on mules, but just not with a platform. I just want like flat ones that I can just slip on when I'm like running out the door to go do some like quick errands outside. Nothing in shoes. Oh, like this. <gasps> really? Oh, this is exactly what I mean. Oh my gosh. How much are these? $8.50? Kind of like this, but this material seems... Mm, I'm gonna think about those. Those are kind of fun, but not my size. Another cute pair, but not my size. Good quality. Whoa, look at these. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh, whoa, no, no, no. Oh no, oh no. Kind of a fun little tote bag. Kind of hippy dippy. It is kind of coming undone though on the straps. kind of fun and ridiculous actually. I kind of like it. Oh, it's $10. <laughs> Is this too ridiculous? It kind of makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know if I feel like it's worth $10 though. I also like this cute little beaded bag too. It's adorable, but this one's also $10. I feel like they've definitely increased their prices recently. I don't know if it's because of the holidays. $10. I mean, it's so cute, but... They don't normally price stuff that high. guys I found a cute little like tank few cute little like spaghetti strap tank tops but I'm gonna go over to dresses Ooh, while I'm heading over to dresses I see this fun little like what is this lamp eight dollars eight fifty I just like the lampshade does it go with this I don't know but I love the lampshade I just don't like the stand but that's cute in the baskets aisle. Been trying to find some more little like organizer type things. I did find this one. It would be cute with like a little plant in it, I think, but I don't know. Do I need it? I like that it's kind of like boho looking, but I don't feel like I have to have it. Maybe like this big one. Mm, it's kind of broken at the bottom. Guys, I'm finding a bunch of housewares today, actually. I don't normally look at the housewares this much, but I feel like I'm finding some good stuff. I kind of like this little guy. It's only $3.50, but I don't think I need one of these, so I'm gonna leave it behind, but I think it's kind of cute. I found this cute little cream-colored St. John collection sweater. I feel like normally I don't like St. John, or like it just doesn't fit my vibe, but this one's really cute. But last thing on earth I need is another cream-colored sweater. But I really like the texture and the cute little buttons down the front. And it's high quality, but I'm gonna leave it. I hope someone finds it though. All right, you guys, I'm in the dressing room. I'm gonna try stuff on really fast, but I have to kind of hurry because I have to go in like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna try to be quick. I found this fun, like almost like floral crochet long duster piece. It's really fun. As much as I think that this is super cute and fun and like boho and girly, I just don't know if I'll wear it since I don't wear my other one. Lord knows I don't need another gray sweater, but I don't think I have a turtleneck in gray and this one's cashmere by Neiman Marcus, so it's a maybe. I honestly think it looks kind of cute even just over this dress if I knotted it. So maybe. All right, you guys, sorry. Everett called me while I was trying stuff on. So I tried on a majority of it, but I'm kind of in a hurry and have to run. So I'm gonna pick through everything, show you guys what I end up getting and show you guys some of the housewares that are in my cart right now. Cause I have to kind of like slim things down cause I found a few things that I don't want to spend a ton of money. Okay, I think I'm gonna put away these green little grasses. I actually thought they were super cute, but I don't have somewhere in mind to put them. I also think I'm going to leave behind these cute little slippers. They are adorable, but 
I don't need a new pair of slippers. I actually have two pairs that I wear all the time, even though these do look like they've never been worn. But I think I'm gonna leave them behind this time. And then I found some little pillar candles a wood thing and an air purifier my amazon wish list so i'm gonna get those two things ah oh, you guys it is coming down ever let me know that we have no power at home which i knew was gonna happen and i've got to go pick up my dad i got a few clothing items that were cute and a few housewares i'll show you guys everything when i get home sorry that this is kind of hectic i'm feeling slightly stressed out <laughs> okay see you in a second Hi hey guys, we're back. It's the next day. I am still in my sweatpants because I was just editing the beginning of this video, but I figured I would do the haul now. Um, I only ended up getting a few clothing items and then a few houseware items. So really quickly, I'll go over the houseware items. I did end up picking up this little bag of like random pillar candles. Most of them have never been burned. A few of them have, they're all different sizes. This was $4.50 and I was looking for these little candles because I have quite a few little candle holders that aren't necessarily for like smell good candles but just kind of like more for the ambiance. I really love lighting a bunch of candles at night when watching TV or relaxing on the weekend and just having like a cozy vibe. So I thought that $5 for all of these wasn't a bad price. I ended up grabbing that. I also did end up getting that little firewood holder that was something that I was actually going to purchase on Amazon and they're around $60 and so it was really great to get one for a lot more affordable. It has been used but it was still in good working condition so let me show you that. Sorry, here is our fireplace area. It's quite a mess right now because um, I haven't organized everything but I have been currently putting our firewood in this little basket which works okay and isn't hideous but i just needed something that was like meant for firewood so she ended up giving me this for like 550 i'm pretty sure and we'll probably end up just putting it right around here yeah that was awesome very practical not super cute but something that i really needed for our wood burning stove and then I also ended up getting the air purifier. I had plugged it in when I was there at Goodwill. They have like little plugs to make sure things worked and it turned on and everything. When I got home though, I noticed that part of the bottom um, like was missing. So <laughs> I kind of like Jimmy rigged it to make it work. Let me show you the air purifier. I just have it plugged in over here in my bathroom area. I like that it's white because I like most of my appliances to be white. I saw that this one is sold at Target for a little bit over a hundred dollars. So I got it for $12, which I felt was like a decent price. But yeah, I didn't realize that the bottom was missing a piece. So I actually just ended up putting up this little like steaming basket because it needs to get air flow underneath there and without that little piece it doesn't get any airflow so I'm just using this little steaming basket with little legs but I wish I would have known that before buying it because maybe I wouldn't have gotten it um, but yeah it still works and that's a temporary fix maybe I can do something that's a little bit a better of a solution but turns on just like this purifies the air I feel like in the winter time, since we're not able to open up our windows as much, our bedroom does get like very stale air. And so I really wanted one of those for just like the colder seasons when I'm not letting my house air out as much as usual. I didn't realize that it was missing a piece. And then I ended up getting three little clothes items. Two of the clothes items were actually on the go back rack and I almost missed them. I'm so glad that I looked there because I really like them. So the first one, this first one is a black jacket liner. It's kind of like, you know, that piece that goes inside a bigger jacket that you can take out. And it does have that like kind of quilted design. Let me show you guys this in the mirror. Oh, sorry guys, my mirror is majorly dusty. Yeah, I think it's just like an easy throw on extra layer just to keep myself warm in the winter time when I'm running out the door. And I just think it's super comfy and casual. And I like it. And it was only a few dollars. I think that it was like $4.99 or something. So. I did end up getting the cashmere turtleneck. There was another little crop sweater that I really liked as well. But it was just from um, Target, like Wild Fable brand. It was really cute and like kind of like a beigey neutral nude color. But I figured that it would be better to buy the Neiman Marcus cashmere over the Wild Fable because that's probably something that I can refine. Whereas this is a lot better quality and nicer and a harder thing to find in my opinion. And then this was probably my best find of the day. The thing that I was most excited about. 
don't skip over the Halloween even for things that you would wear on a normal basis. These are black Wilson's leather, leather pants with this amazing cutout ring detail on the edges, you guys. Oh my God, so fun and sassy. Just look at that detail on the leg. Um, and the best part about these is they were new with tags and they were originally $200 and I paid $6 for them, you guys. <laughs> I literally almost died. Actually, when I saw these, it reminded me of my friend Billy that I went thrifting with because she told me that she used to have a ton of Harley Davidson stuff. She gave me Harley Davidson shirts and she told me that she used to wear like leather chaps and stuff like this. So when I found these, I was like, Billy is giving me all the fun Harley leather good luck. So thanks, Billy. <laughs> I feel like you manifested these into my life. So amazing. Here is the sweater, the cashmere sweater. Super cute, super soft, comfy. I love it. I tried it on in the fitting rooms for you guys, but I figured I'd just throw it on again. Honestly, when I got this, I thought about pairing it underneath a pair of overalls that I ended up getting a little while ago that I haven't worn because I've wanted to wear the overalls with the turtleneck. And so this will be perfect. I think it's super cute and I'm glad that I ended up getting it and didn't put it back. I would have regretted it. And then here are the pants. Check these out, you guys. How bad A are these? So fun and crazy with the cutout detail. I love them. I think that they're super cool. Should I be a biker girl for Halloween? That would be so cool and fun if I was like a Harley Davidson chick. Should I do that? I was thinking about being either Tinkerbell, a schoolgirl, or I could be a Harley girl. <laughs> Let me know down below what you guys think. I don't have any Halloween plans, but those are the three costumes that I know I could create with my wardrobe that I have without having to buy anything. So let me know what you guys think. And also, I want to know if you guys are dressing up for Halloween, and if so, what are you going to be? And did you thrift your costume, or at least part of it? Did you make your costume? I love thrifting my costume. I never buy them at the, like, spirit Halloween stores because I feel like thrifted costumes are superior. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was it for the thrift trip for this week. I hope you guys ended up enjoying. Comment down below or send me pictures on Instagram of things that you've recently thrifted. I love sharing and I love seeing what you guys find too. I hope you guys are hanging in there. And for those of you guys checking on me, thank you so much. I recently shared that I've been feeling just like a little off lately and I have, that's kind of like, I do get a little bit of like the seasonal depression thing, but I don't know, I've just been feeling kind of weird lately, but I'm hanging in there and I love you guys so much for checking in on me. And sending me your love. You guys are so sweet. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Bye bye.